Welcome to Recap Junkies. Today we'll be looking at You Die, a 2018 drama horror thriller. Warning, there will be spoilers ahead, so proceed with caution. Eva walks through a train station and takes a seat on a bench. She looks at the clock and her cell phone rings, but she doesn't answer. She notices a man across the tracks on the opposite platform, staring at the wall. Eva appears to be frightened, but after a few moments, the man turns and walks away. Eva sighs with relief, but immediately notices a strange man walking on the train tracks towards her and her fear returns. Milo gives Eva a drink and sits down next to her. Eva appears to have been crying. She asks him if she can show him something and requests for his cell phone. Milo asks why, but Eva says, he like it and he hands it over to her. She tells him that she'll be right back and goes into another room. Eva stands in front of a mirror and looks at an ugly scar on her abdomen. Milo waits patiently for Eva, who's installing an app, You Die, on his phone. She places her phone next to Milo's, which displays a countdown of less than 40 seconds. Milo asks Eva if she's okay and approaches the door. Eva claims she's fine and quickly opens the door and tells Milo that she has to leave. She hands him his phone, tells him that he must download it to someone else, and leaves. Milo watches as she walks away, looking confused by her statement. Milo is eating and his cell phone rings. He picks it up and discovers the Udai app, which functions with a camera view and displays a countdown timer. Milo looks around his room via the camera view and notices a figure outside his door looking in through the glass. He takes another look without the app, sees no one, and places the phone down. Milo brushes his teeth and his cell phone rings again. He picks it up and looks through the app's camera lens. He hears a noise and goes to check it out. He opens a closet door and is startled as a mop falls to the floor. He realizes that his pet hamster, Millie, is in the closet. Milo is sleeping and his cell phone rings, waking him. He picks it up, looks through the app's camera view, and sees a creepy-looking woman sitting in the chair across from him. Frightened by this, he quickly turns on the lights. Milo is alone in the room. Asia rides her bicycle to a building and places two roses in front of the door. She sits and eats an apple. Claudia is cooking and singing in her kitchen. Filippo walks in with Asia. They eat and discuss evening plans, and Asia reveals that Olivia and Leo will be watching a movie with her later on. She goes to her place, where Viola tells her about an app for dating, but Asia shuts down the idea, saying she will never do anything like that. Viola responds by saying, these apps have never killed anyone. They sit in the living room and wait for Leo so they can begin movie night. The doorbell rings and Leo arrives with pizza. Asia asks Viola where the popcorn is and she admits to eating it all. So they agree to go to the store together and buy more. Milo enters the store and his cell phone rings. He takes it out, looks through the app lens and sees an elderly woman standing in the aisle behind Asia. The countdown timer on the app displays a little over 10 minutes. Milo approaches Asia and tells her that he was supposed to meet his girlfriend 10 minutes ago, but his phone died and he cannot get in touch with her. The elderly woman slowly walks towards them. Milo asks if he could send his girlfriend a text with Asia's phone and she agrees. A car pulls up on an empty road. Eva gets out of the car and tells the man to step outside, saying she wants them to make a sex tape. She asks for his phone and he hands it over. While they have sex, Eva installs the app on his phone, but he catches her in the process. He grabs the phone from her hand and pushes her away. He gets in the car and drives, leaving her there. Eva screams at the car as it speeds away and her phone rings. She pulls it from her pocket and realizes that her countdown timer is under two minutes. She looks through the lens and a hand reaches out from the screen. Eva drops the phone and runs. She goes through an underpass 
but is trapped as two ghostly male figures block her escape. She screams as they grab her. The trio watches the movie and Viola says she needs to make a call. Asia gets up to get more beer and returns a bit later. Her phone rings and she discovers the app, but tells Leo that she doesn't know what it is. He takes a look at it and notes that there is a camera lens and a timer. He says that he wonders what happens once the time runs out. He assumes that it's a game and looks around the room through the lens. He sees a girl and she runs away. They get up to look further and Viola joins them. They all look through the lens and see the little girl standing. They approach her, fascinated by the effect, and the little girl raises her head and stares at them. Asia takes her phone, claiming that she is freaked out by it. She tries to delete the app, but it reopens and the countdown timer goes back an hour. Leo sends a message to a tech friend of his, but he responds and claims that he doesn't know what the app is. Leo leaves for the night. Asia is studying and her phone rings and the You Die app opens. She looks through the lens and sees a woman standing in the doorway and she gasps. She looks around the kitchen and Viola appears and frightens her. They talk about Leo and although Viola tells Asia that she's in love with him, Asia denies it and says that she doesn't want anything to change between them. Viola goes to bed and Asia sends a goodnight text to Leo. Asia wakes from a nightmare and goes to the kitchen. Her cell phone rings and the app opens. She looks through the lens and she sees a ghostly man pointing. Asia turns and sees a woman standing with her eyes closed. Asia backs out of the room slowly and the woman quickly turns her head and stares at her. Asia runs to her room and jumps into her bed. She hears her bedroom door creaking and looks through the app to see the woman standing in her room. She puts the phone down and turns, and the woman lunges at her. Asia screams, and Viola runs into the room with her. She tells Viola that the woman was in the room, but Viola is convinced that it is just a harmless app and offers to sleep with her. Viola wakes to use the bathroom. She returns to the room, and the ghostly woman is standing over Asia. Viola proceeds to go back to sleep while the woman leans towards Asia, making a hissing sound. Asia stares at the app and tells Viola that it's operating on its own and is unable to stop it. Viola tells her to let it go and suggests that she leave her phone and go for a ride. Asia agrees. She waits at a red light and notices a man staring at her. She turns her head and sees Viola standing in the middle of the street, mouthing something to her. As her voice is muffled, a thick black substance pours from her mouth. A car honks its horn and Asia pedals forward. She sits in front of the building and eats an apple. Her cell phone rings and she looks around confused. She discovers her phone in her bag and the app opens. She looks down the street and sees the woman standing. Asia confronts Viola as she's leaving out and asks why she put the cell phone in her bag. After knowing that she intentionally left it, Viola tells her that she came to get it an hour ago and they argue, accusing one another of being a liar. Viola storms out upset. Asia visits Claudia and tells her that she's seeing things from the app in real life. Claudia comforts her and assures her that it's simply a lot on her mind and that it can't be real. She suggests that she take a bath and relieve some tension. Asia is relaxing and a headless figure appears in the mirror's reflection and walks out of view. Asia winces in pain and pulls back the skin on her wrist, revealing a Yudai web address link carved into her skin. The headless figure grabs her by the throat and she screams. Claudia rushes in to find Asia with her eyes closed and choking herself. She tells Asia that she can't ignore that she's self-harming. Asia emphasizes that she did not cause the marks on her wrist, but Claudia says that she doesn't see any marks. Claudia offers to call Asia's brother, but Asia begs her not to. She says that she is not sure how, but the app allows her to see dead people and will take her phone to an IT specialist who may be able to help. Asia goes to Leo and explains that they need to see his friend Marco right away. She tells him 
that she is seeing things that are only real to her and wants to remove the app as soon as possible so that it stops. As they drive to see Marco, Asia sees another ghostly woman standing in the street. Marco explains that he does not know what the app is or how to delete it, but found reports on the dark web regarding an app that drove people to their death. He says that the people were exposed to the app and claimed that they were being tortured by the dead and eventually died of cardiac arrest. He also points out that it says the app must download to someone else within 24 hours. Asia asks who she can speak with about the app and Marco says that a man by the name of Mike Butler created a blog post about his own personal experience. Asia demands that he locate him. Milo looks in the mirror and examines the link, which has been carved into his neck. His cell phone rings and he looks through the app. A figure walks into his bedroom. He follows the figure as he views through the app, but sees no one. He turns and a ghostly man appears and Milo falls back. He notices that his phone screen is cracked. The You Die app loads and the counter quickly diminishes to zero. Milo screams as he is dragged into his bedroom, where he dies. Marco tracks down Mike Butler's contact information and they call him. Mike says that the app is a door to another dimension and that he has been passing the app on to other people since he downloaded it. He explains that in order to survive, you have to pass it on every single day in order to reset the countdown timer to 24. He emphasizes that there are three rules to follow. You can't break your phone, otherwise the timer automatically goes to one minute and you die once it hits zero. You can't cheat or the app will kill you immediately and you can't lose or buy a new phone as the app is with you and not the phone itself. Ghostly figures appear behind Mike and Asia. Mike says the clock is ticking and laughs. Leo tells Asia that Mike is crazy and just making fun of her, but Asia tries to explain that it's real. Leo tells her to download the app to him so that he can prove it's fake, but they argue and she slaps him. Leo says that they should talk to her brother and she agrees, but asks to cool off for a minute. He gives her the keys to his car so she can go outside. He discovers that Asia took his car and he and Marco go after her. Asia goes to Claudia and frantically asks for help. Claudia slaps her and sits her down. She tells Asia that she believes that she is weak and not able to handle the pressure. She tells Asia that what she is experiencing is real and reveals the link carved into her own chest. She admits that she downloads the app to a stranger every day because she has no choice. Asia tells her that she can't do the same and will find another way to beat the app. Claudia threatens Asia and says that she will have her committed if she says anything about the app to her brother Filippo. Asia leaves. She sits in front of the building, crying, and her cell phone rings. She looks through the app and sees a ghostly man and woman in the street. She gets up and moves closer to them, and there is a sense of recognition on her face. Another ghostly woman walks toward them at a fast pace. Asia turns and runs to the car and drives away. Leo tries to call Asia, but she doesn't answer. He and Marco go to her apartment, but she's not there. Marco suggests that they track her GPS location. Asia goes to an underpass where prostitutes work. She takes off her sweatshirt and approaches a vehicle. The man offers for her to get inside. They park and the man discloses that he is married and has two sons. He passes his phone to Asia and she looks at a picture of the kids. She sits on the ground beside Leo's car. Leo and Marco arrive and Leo approaches Asia. Claudia and Filippo have dinner. Claudia tells Filippo that she's worried about Asia and he mentions that it's only been a few months since the accident. Claudia explains that it's not about her parents and instead it's about an app that Asia claims is torturing her. She says that she's afraid that Asia is psychotic. 
Filippo calls Asia, but she ignores the call. She admits to Leo that she downloaded the app to someone else and cries. Leo tells her that he is sorry for not believing her and says that he wants to help. They embrace and stare at one another. Filippo calls again and Asia tells Leo to take her to him. Claudia and Filippo tell Asia that she's unwell and they want to help her. Claudia gives her a sedative and Filippo says that she should stay with them for the night, but she refuses. Filippo pulls Claudia out of the room to talk and Asia removes the sedative from her mouth and stuffs it between the sofa cushion. She grabs Claudia's cell phone and puts it in Filippo's jacket pocket and then requests that Filippo take her home. He picks up his jacket and they leave. Claudia realizes that her phone's missing and desperately searches for it. She stands and screams. Filippo drops Asia off at home. Leo is waiting for her in front of her building. He says that he has something that he wants to tell her and they kiss. Asia tells him that she will see him tomorrow and says goodnight. Filippo drives home and Claudia's cell phone rings and he pulls it from his pocket. Claudia sits on the floor and cries. Asia goes live and announces that she found the app on her phone and it's real. She tells the audience to refuse to give their phone to anyone, even if they are a loved one or in need, as the You Die app is a virus and will consume anyone who downloads it. She explains that if you do find the app on your phone, it's best not to fight the inevitable as you are already dead. She says she will be a cure, positions her camera in her bathroom and falls backward out her window. Leo drives back and finds Filippo sitting on the ground, sobbing and holding Asia's lifeless body in his arms. Medics arrive. So, would you pass the app on or find another way out? Comment your thoughts and be sure to get another dose of Recap Junkies by watching some other videos like this and subscribing with the bell. Thanks so much for watching.